What's up, Jammers? Thibaut here, host of the Thursday Night Jam Night at Cunningham's Pub in St. Anne de Bellevue, letting you know that we're in the home stretch. Folks, we're almost there tomorrow, May 18th, and the following Thursday, May 25th, are the last two opportunities that you will have if you're interested in competing for the grand prize of $300 on June 1st. That's right. So if you have original music and you want to compete in this season one before it expires, be sure to DM me or show up at a jam night, and we'll definitely do everything that we can to get you in for this last round, the last stretch of the competition. Folks, it's been so much fun, so many incredible, talented people gracing the stage at Cunningham's Pub. We look forward to seeing you come out and support in droves all of the incredible contestants. And be sure to mark the date, guys, because Thursday, June 1st, is the grand finale where our three official judges and all of the official contestants are going to be competing for the grand prize. So speaking of judges, let's get to know the third judge on our panel this year for season one, owner of Cunningham's Pub, Mr. Jim Beauchamp. Creator and owner of Cunningham's Pub, Jim Beauchamp, a community-minded entrepreneur, active supporter of local music, veteran restaurateur, and consummate businessman. Jim, you make it so easy for people to feel comfortable in your presence. It's an incredible skill that you've always had throughout your career. We've noticed that even as kids growing up in the very early days. So tell us about some of your earliest memories growing up in La Chute and a fabled promise to your mom that led to this very location coming to be. You know, growing up in the shoot, you had a few things to do. You had to play sports in high school, hang out with your buddies, and went out to, to go out to bars. And one of the bars we went to is called the Sportsman Inn. And that was owned by Ronnie Prophet. So Ronnie Prophet is a well-known uh, country singer in, in Quebec and Canada. And they used to have bands up there, bands like the Black Cadillacs, who are still around. And bands. So I used to go watch them when we were in like 16, 17, 18, get into the bar scene. And that really changed my view on live music. And I love live music ever since then. And, you know, coming into St. Anne's from the shoot, going to John Abbott College, I uh, worked in bars since I've been actually 17. I liked that a bar owner that I was at when I came to Darman, I was 17. And, uh, and I just stayed in St. Anne's and I loved it. And I owned bars, a uh, bar called The Pub, it was the first bar I owned upstairs. And then uh, my mom wasn't doing well, she was, uh, she was sick. And she was passing away and uh, her, her name is Cunningham, Jean Cunningham. And I promised her, you know, one day that I'll open an Irish pub after the name Cunningham. So my mom passed and too bad she couldn't see it, but a year later I opened up Cunningham's pub. And you know, from then on, it's kind of a, obviously a sweet spot for us. And you know, we're celebrating 19 years this month. Congratulations. Thank you. That is Thanks. so freaking amazing. So Jim, tell me why is music so important to you? And what were some of the formative things that happened to you growing up or in your adult life that said to you, music is important and I have to make it a part of this? Now, you know, back in 1992, we did Stand in the Bell here, we did a thing called the uh, Saint Anne's en Blues, on Catherine Blues in 92. It's me and Jean Trudeau did that. And that really got me into the promoting aspect of it, too. You know, I, I could never play music. Like, I always thought I could sing, but I can't. But I loved doing the promoting side of it, you know, and I love helping the musicians. So that got me into it, and I moved on to go to the Commons up in Moore Nights. I booked the Blue Rodeo, and I booked, you know, uh, Honeymoon Suite, uh, uh, Wild, Wild Teen and Spirit, a lot, a lot of bigger acts, and I really got involved that way. But you know, that first real concert that made you say, wow, you know, was obviously Bruce Springsteen. When I saw Bruce Springsteen, just to see his passion and his three and a half hour show. Uh, he's a multi-millionaire and he's still passionate. He still gives three and a half hour shows, you know, 35 years later, you know, so see music like that. And, and then more locally now, our, our friends, you know, and Montreal favorite band, The Damn Truth. See Lila and Tom and, and, uh, and the guys get up there and uh, do their stuff. It's unbelievable. Like it's just, it, it, it reinforces the passion of music and how these guys have so much passion. And, and that's why I love seeing live music in my bar. So Jim, how does it make you feel as owner of Cunningham's Pub to know that so many people from every single different walk of life call Cunningham's their home away from home? I, I can't explain it. I love it. Like it, uh, I'm a bar guy. I, I love going out to bars. I love going out to pubs. I love feeling at home. I want people to feel the exact same way when they come here. You're like, like Paul, we've known each other years and years and years. Thousand years. You know, we've gone through tons of stuff together. And even like people when I first started in 1985, like it was my birthday a couple of weeks ago and on Facebook and I kept reading down the names and remembering which bar I knew them from and where were they a regular and are they still a regular? And you know, it just warms, it warms my heart. And I, I don't know, I just, uh, I want to feel home when I go somewhere, you know, I want people to feel the same way when they come to County Hams. So Jim, on behalf of all the jammers and the aspiring hopefuls in the CGT season one competition, I want to say a heartfelt thank you, man, for giving us a safe and comfortable and friendly, cozy place for people to come and just be themselves and share their music, because it's not easy, as you know. Originals artists are sort of shy and they don't necessarily feel like they want to do it, and you give them a place to do that. So thank you from all of us. Heartfelt, really, really appreciate what if, you're doing. If I can say something, Paul, you know what? I provide the stage and location. It's you're the one who's, who's thought of this whole plan, who thought of it from day one, who organizes it, who puts every effort into it, who 
invites the people, gets people out. You make it feel, you know, you make it feel welcome. That's what it is. Okay. I, just I love you too. Bro. I love you too. It's a Thank very, you. it's a, it's a two way street. Nice. And we really appreciate what you're allowing us to do here. And Great. it's very, very, very cool. So having said all of that, what are you going to be looking for on June 1st when the aspiring hopefuls come to compete for the grand prize? You know, it's all about confidence. For me, it's about confidence on stage. It's that, uh, I'd say it's 99% faking and getting up there and feeling confident. Be sure of yourself. Be sure of your song you're going to sing. It's your song. If it's an original, own it. It's your original. Own it and sing it as hard as you can. Over the 30, 35 plus years I've hired musicians in my life, I've seen incredibly talented musicians who didn't have stage presence. I've seen not so talented musicians who control the room from top to bottom. So really take presence of that stage, show everybody what you got and take that three or four minutes or that eight or nine minutes, whatever you have, and show us exactly everything you got. I already know it's true, but show me Cunningham's Got Talent. <laughs>